everyone welcome to the next episode of oh my olympics by the bridge today the mega quarterfinal games at olympics have started india has kick started its pedal uh, quest by winning the silver medal on day 1 today we have a very special guest with us the olympic medalist himself gagan narang sir before we talk to him about shooting and other things let uh, please uh, click on the like share and subscribe button Good afternoon, sir. It's an honor to have you here. How are you feeling today about India's performance at Olympics? Well, very good. I think uh, the it has set the ball rolling. And Mira Bai Chanu, what a fantastic performance by this lady! And unbelievable performance. Great lifts, full of confidence. Of course, couldn't make it on her last lift, but uh, amazing, amazing performance. And it lifted the spirits of the Indian contingent uh, in Tokyo. And I'm sure. Uh, the ball has been set rolling and a lot of people will be looking forward to grabbing some more medals surely surely sir uh, just so you could tell us about your uh, moments with her i think in 2016 rio uh, olympics she was there with you so have you ever interacted with her i'm sorry you must know her well a uh, couple of times but uh, not not i haven't had a conversation with her but uh, i've heard a lot about her and uh, i understand that Uh, she was sent uh, to USA for training uh, before the Olympics uh, during the coronavirus pandemic, and her whole team was there training uh, uh, peacefully and calmly. And I think that is very, very important because uh, before uh, you go into the Olympics, a calm, peaceful training session is is very, very important because you can armor out the chinks in your uh, uh, in in your armor and. Uh, you can uh, iron iron them out, and uh, whatever difficulties and challenges you face, you can uh, take them out uh, very calmly. And I think that is what she got there. We were all hoping that she would uh, win a medal, and uh, she's uh, definitely done us all proud by winning that silver. Absolutely, absolutely. So talking about uh, in the people who were sent out, so our Indian shooting team was also sent to Croatia. So, uh, what do you think about Indian shooting team's performance today? Unfortunately, we couldn't win any medals, but I think Saurabh did a very great job. And even Eleven Year, she was also doing well in, in the middle somewhere, but dropped somewhere. So, what are your thoughts on that? Well, uh, uh, the start of the shooting campaign was uh, with the ten meter uh, air rifle women event. And yes. we had eleven nil and Apurvi, and this event, Ella of course not her best form. She is capable of shooting much more, but I think the pressure got the better of her. She shot uh, some uh, series of hundred four point three, hundred four, hundred six, which was interesting. One zero four point two, and then uh, ended with a hundred three point five. Now that ending was not as expected. She finished sixteenth. She had just two nine point sevens and nine point nine, just two nines on her forty fourth and fifty third shot, and she finished with a score of six twenty five point five. If you see her average was one hundred and four point seven five, which was just zero point three one behind the eighth position average. Now that yeah. looks very small, but uh, over a period of sixty shots, it becomes considerable. On the other hand, Apurvi shot one hundred and four point five, started. Uh, well, but she had second series at 102.5. She came back with 104.9, 104.2. Again, dipped in 104.102.2, and then finished with 103.6. I with a score of 621.9. She had a lot of nines as well, and she finished 36. So uh, not a great, not a great start, but. Uh, uh, they both uh, Apurvi, of course, will not have another event, but Ella has the mixed team event uh, coming up on 27th, and let's hope she gets her uh, form back. On the other hand, uh, what amazing shooting by Saurabh Chaudhary! I mean, uh, in the 10 meter air pistol event, yeah, uh, just 19 years of age, uh, shot a 95, 98, 99, and a hundred out of 100, 100 exactly in an Olympic. And then finished with the 98, 97 on 586 on the first position. He of course had in 28 inner tens, which means shots which are over 10.3, and uh, yes. finished uh, with an average of 9.76. Uh, he had, in fact, the interesting point is 22 shots 
uh, together he shot uh, he shot tens so it was very very interesting and uh, coming fresh uh, if you see his legacy if you see the kind of tournaments that he's won you know he's uh, won the junior world cup he's won the youth olympic games he he's won the asian games he's won the asian championship medals at the world cups and uh, he shot his first olympic uh, final and final. Uh, of course of course the final didn't go his way he was probably the uh, second who kind of got eliminated because of yeah. a bad shot uh, uh, but i think uh, he has a lot of prospect uh, in the future uh, right, abhishek right. verma was right up there 31 yeah. years of age 94 96 98 97 you know so some brilliant shooting and uh, yeah. but the last shot i think the last two shots uh, uh, were uh, i think there was an 8.8 or something which yeah. kind of uh, uh, he kind of shot himself out of the the final eight, the game but but otherwise brilliant consistent performance uh, he started shooting only a couple of years ago and made yeah. it to the team and made it to the olympics so, so both uh, were really uh, bright and uh, and and at at the they gave their best but unfortunately their best was not good enough the best was that's true i think uh, till the end and we were thinking that abhishek might make it might make it at the end he couldn't uh talking about saurav i think this is the first time india has made it to the 10 meter epistle finals so i think that is a, the silver lining we could see here and he did really well in qualification javed purubi i would like to mention that guy sir he is so amazing he has won so many medals this year and but anyway good start for india i would say tomorrow what are your thoughts on the 10 meter air rifle event tomorrow do you think the branch and deepak have a chance and then talking about manu bhakar and yashashwini of course see the idea their jitters a bit and that would help them perform uh, uh, better than today better. yeah true true in 10 meter air rifle mix everybody is ex- expecting a short short medals from uh, the team so what are your thoughts on that like uh, okay i also i wouldn't i wouldn't yeah hmm. tell me so uh, talking about elevenis performance today like she she is capable of shooting that high scores but today was just not the uh, the her day being made an olympic so if you could just uh, put some light on the olympic pressure that comes on that day because of course world cup performances cannot be taken into account because olympics is a whole different feeling so if you could tell us about the olympic pressure well pressure doesn't come with the name written on it ki it is olympic or it is world, yeah. <laughs> it is world cup pressure is but, still pressure yeah. but but it becomes yeah. very different when it comes in the olympics of course uh, yeah. uh, there is a lot of uh, anxiety and there is a lot of uh, uh, i would say you know uh, it's a make or break situation so i spoke to ella and i think she was uh, uh, a bit uh, she was confident she said i was shooting well i slept okay i was not very uh, uh, i I couldn't sleep sleep that well so it's, it's very natural to not get sleep because you have a lot of uh, anxiety but uh, having said that i think uh, if she would have just shot her normal um, normal the way they shoot she would shoot in training or she shoots in other competition she would have made it to the final but uh, having yeah. said that uh, she still has one more event and we're looking forward to that event absolutely absolutely so uh is talking about the indian squad so we also uh, in 15 meter if we talk we have sanjeev rajput who has the experience of uh, olympics already and then we have ashwara who is doing amazingly well this year so who do you think out of the two has a better shot at winning the medal this year no see i would not become an astrologer and predict uh, who has yeah, better chances because if if we had to predict you know it wouldn't have been called sport and uh, the whole idea of uh, of sport is the unpredictability the whole uh, the whole journey and the process so i think both these athletes have gone through their own uh, own journeys and own experiences and uh, they are going to put their best foot forward they have been guided by one of india's best coaches yeah sanjeev of course has been a veteran and 
and has seen a few Olympics, uh, a lot of competitions, Commonwealth Games and so on, won there as well. So he's going to be taking and backing on that experience to turn out his best performance. Uh, qualification is just one part of the whole uh, equation. Like we saw Saroj Chaudhary finishing first on qualification, but that doesn't mean that you know uh, the final starts from zero again. So you have to yeah. perform well in the qualification, and you have to keep your calm in the quali- in the final as well, and give out your best. And uh, uh, if you see the ten meter air pistol event, I mean Jawad Farogi from Iran won won the medal. He also won a medal in the Delhi World Cup. So if you see the way he shoots, the the calmness that he has, phenomenal performance by them. Yeah, and in qualification, Farah was able to beat him. So that's, I think, the unpredictability of the sport, absolutely. So I, I think Saurav didn't shoot so many nines in qualification. The number of nines he shot in uh, in in final, <laughs> I mean, he shot quite a few nines there. But I think a lot to learn, lot to take away from this Olympics for for Saurav. For sure, for sure. And the best part is that he still has that one more shot at gold medal. So I think the 10 meter air. Uh, Still mixed even and the rifle event is a very big advantage for India this year because you know it increases the probability for the team. So talking about the other shooting contingents, if you have been able to follow up, hockey uh, won the match against New Zealand, but in RCD we lost. So uh, who do you think in the upcoming uh, events, apart from shooting, which event are you like looking forward to with sport? Well, I think I'm looking forward to the table tennis. Uh, we had some wins over there. I think badminton also had a win uh, over there. And uh, I am looking at uh, boxing to start and wrestling to start as well. So, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Boxing also. So, another question that I have in mind is that South Korea and China have been out of the World Cup Championship this year due to pandemic. And they are absolutely uh, like we cannot put that aside that they are actually good at shooting. Especially China is very good at, and you have faced some of them. So, uh, do you think that Chinese will be like overpowering the shooting game this year? Well, China has always dominated uh, the shooting circuit. Uh, but yeah. uh, if you see uh, the ten meter air rifle women, you saw yeah. the dominance of China. And if yeah. you also saw the pistol event, you know, we had someone who won the bronze medal from China. So although they yeah. haven't taken part in the World Cups, I think uh, they were preparing silent, silently. And I had yeah. mentioned earlier that they could be a surprise package and look like uh, they're turning out to be one. Yeah, even in uh, 10 meter air pistol, they won the bronze medal. So I think they're doing really well till now, like decent performance, but yeah. That's very good strategy, I would say. Like everybody knows everybody's game. Javed knows for a game, but nobody knows China's game. So even South Korea and Archery, they have been, you know, absent from the World Championship, and now they're nailing it. They just won gold medal this year. Uh, sorry, in the morning. So I think that is the thing. Uh, what are uh, the other uh, shooters apart from shooting in team? Who are you looking forward to for? Well, uh, I haven't been uh, following much, but I think we yeah. will have a strong competition from a lot of them. I mean, uh, yeah. you uh, you cannot say that, you know, one country will obviously take all of them, but, you know, one shooter from each country is enough for us to, to you know, kind of uh, give that challenge. So, yeah. you have some interesting shooters in the fray tomorrow. A lot of these, uh, are, of course, along with the Chinese, you have the Russians, uh, uh, who are representing the Russian Olympic Committee. And uh, we had one uh, air rifle women who won today. So they were also uh, uh, silently training. And of course, I mean, the, the only difference is that they were able to give their best um, at the Olympic Games. And uh, yeah. our best was not good enough. So we hope that we are able to give our best tomorrow. In the coming forward, true, true. Even Russia was doing very good uh, in. So uh, I also want to ask this, tomorrow the branch is going to play, right? Uh, so Valdemar, uh, who I think defeated uh, Abhinav Bindra in Olympics, he is going to go up against the branch. So what are your thoughts on that? No, in shooting, nobody goes up against each other, Shreya. Yeah, of everyone, course. Everyone shoots uh, in the same relay and it's yeah, the, the fight is within yourself. 
so i wouldn't compare shooting xyz to to an xyz you know and even in the final you're not competing against anyone you're just competing to notch those uh, scores up and that is what the focus will be i mean divyansh uh, will be focusing on on getting his uh, scores uh, as he wants uh, and uh, so will deepak and uh, yeah. once uh, they achieve step 1 which is qualification for the final then i think they will adopt a different strategy for the final because you have also time pressure in the final mm, that's true like that's true in the past i think the major hurdles for indian shooting team been has been qualifying and today soyo has to that we can go to the final so that's a good start and yes i agree that there's a, like But I don't think we see a lot of shooters coming in every Olympics. Like there's no reason, like Michael Phillips or Usain Bolt, we don't see that. So going forward, uh, do you want to send out a message to the viewers who I think after today's match they are feeling a bit disappointed by the Indian shooting condition, which is uh, natural. But of course, we have so many matches still left. So do you have a message for the Indian people? to keep their hope well up. no i don't think i have anyone to give them a message but yeah i think these are the best athletes so you are the olympic has. medalist you are the coach of elaine these <laughs> are the best athletes that that we have and that is why they are there so right. ideally you know uh, if they win yes we are very happy but if they don't then you know they will come back to the drawing board and they will get prepared uh, better in the future so let's not get very critical about them let's encourage them yeah. as much as we can and rally behind them when they need them when they need our support so that's all i would like to say okay that great so uh, another thing uh, so uh, if you have been shoot in the shooting fraternity for a while now so you could highlight the major changes that have come in shooting because i read that uh, in an article when uh, anjali bhagwat said that in 2000 sydney we didn't have proper coaches we didn't have uh, proper physiotherapists but now i think we have come a very long way with the junior shooting program with everything uh, how have things changed in shooting over the years because you have been there you have been seeing so what are the major changes that have happened? well a lot of a lot of changes have contributed significantly to the success of the shooters and one of these changes would be the import export regime by the government of india where you are able to get the best kind of equipment possible um yes. in my time or rather when i started shooting it would take me 2 years to import a gun and by that time the gun would be over technology but here you can import a gun now in one week and have the best equipment available so having the best equipment while competing at the world stage is very important we have that ammunition used to be a problem now we are able to get world class ammunition as well as far as coaches are concerned we have always relied on foreign coaches but this time it was a mix of indian coaches and foreign coaches who took charge uh, of tokyo mm. and the kind of coordination and unprecedented uh, support uh, that was there between the government with uh, target olympic podium and uh, the nrai and the athletes themselves who were uh, willing to travel to croatia who were willing to travel to delhi in peak corona times to compete and to to train i think was unprecedented and uh, has uh, contributed in the success of uh, the indian shooting that's true that Absolutely true. I think we've come a very long way, and we are at a better position now. So that's great. So uh, going forward now, uh, I know it's very unpredictable to say, it, but do you think in the coming years, shoot India will definitely become the shooting powerhouse? Like I have my big hopes. I'm sure you also have. We well, Adam, at the world level, at the world level, we are a powerhouse. But already, uh, already. at the Olympic, at the Olympics level, I think uh, uh, let's see. I am not writing anything off. We still have a few days of yeah. competition left, and let's see if we can win some more medals. But definitely, the momentum is there, and it only so, gets better from here. Absolutely, that's true. I think uh, we still have matches left. But if we see at world level, world top ranking, getting that. This is a very big thing, and young shooters to experienced shooters, everyone has achieved that. So that is just great. So, sir, if you could just sum up the call, 
so uh, the whole indian shooting contingent how many medals if you i know it's and predictable for shooting but if you could just give me well i i will i will not get into the prediction game just yet that is not okay. something that i like to do but uh, how many but are you I, hoping i would change the question no, how many are you everyone everyone who's gone there is capable of winning a medal on on their given of course, day of course and uh, they have beaten the world they have the confidence that uh, that uh, they can perform at the highest level and uh, it of course depends on that particular day i mean before today we were predicting a lot of medals but i don't want to jinx it so yeah. let's keep our fingers and toes crossed and hope for the best yeah i think there has been a lot of jinx people are uh, 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 i am sure you have heard that there has been a prediction of eight shooting medals for india so i think that is just jinxing it but okay that's fine so thank you so much for sir for being on the call it was an honor to have you here hopefully inda will hopefully i am very hopeful and i'm sure sir is also i i would the whole nation to be hopeful i in in shooting condition is capable of reaching amazing heights and i'm sure that from tomorrow they are going to again get on the top so let's just set this on that note and let's just cheer for our indian team thank you so much yeah, sir for being thank here you. thank you thank, thank you. you so much